Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Art with Miss Myra. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'm really excited that you're here. Um, today, we're going to do a really fun project. Um, this week, of course, uh, we have been, um, uh, because it is the week leading up to Easter, um, which is my favorite holiday of all time. Um, we have been showcasing, I've been showcasing um, arts and crafts um, that are kind of spring themed or Easter themed uh, crafts. And today the craft that we're going to make is we're going to be making salt dough Easter um, egg ornaments, okay? So the supplies that you're going to need for this is you're going to need a rolling pin, you're going to need an egg shaped uh, cookie cutter, um, or I'm gonna show you today how to draw out a template that you can use um, for that. You're going to need a straw for making the holes. You're going to need acrylic paint um, to paint and decorate our eggs. Um, you're going to need ribbon or yarn um, you know, to put in for the hanger. Um, and you're going to need flour, salt, and water to make the salt dough. Um, and another addition that I want you guys to have is I want you to have Mod Podge, either the commercial Mod Podge or the homemade Mod Podge that we made in a previous video. Um, and you can go back um, to see how to make that. Um, but, but to make homemade Mod Podge, you just need eight ounces of white school glue to four ounces of um, regular water and that's how you make homemade Mod Podge but I want you to um, to when we're all done with this project today we're going to seal our um, ornaments with Mod Podge okay so we're gonna get started and what we're going to do and I did include the recipe in the description uh, for um, making these salt dough ornaments what you need is two cups of flour one cup of salt and one cup of water and so what I want you to do with that is I want you to mix those ingredients together and get in there and incorporate all of those ingredients and then I want you to knead though that those ingredients uh, for just a few minutes and to incorporate all those ingredients together um, and if you have a question about what kneading is um, ask an adult in your house to show you what that is um, but I'm just um, I'm not going to mix um, here on the video I'm just going to show you how to roll this out and then we're going to start with decorating our ornaments so I'm going to move um, my camera down so you can see my workspace and we'll go from there so Okay, so what I have done here is I just have a portion of my dough, and it's a very small portion of my dough. This uh, recipe that I gave you today actually makes uh, quite, a, quite a bit of dough, okay? So this is just a small portion of the dough, and what I do when I roll this out is, if you have parchment paper, great. You can roll that out in between parchment paper, but if you don't have parchment paper at your house, um, this is a, a really easy trick um, to roll out dough so you don't get a big mess. Um, and I'm going to apologize to you before I start rolling because my, my table, my kitchen table, uh, wiggles and stuff. So if there's a little bit of wiggling on the, on the um, camera, I'm going to apologize for that first. But you're going to just roll it out in this Ziploc bag. And you want to turn it as you roll it and make it really even, okay? Because when we bake this, because this these will have to be baked at 250 degrees in the oven for two hours, okay? So you're gonna have to bake this, put this in your oven, you're gonna set it at 250 and then bake it for two hours because we want to, them to be hard and, and um, dry so we can do our decorating. But you want to make sure and just get this as even as we can, okay? So you're going to rotate this. You're going to have to maybe flip it over. And you're going to just roll that out till it's very even, okay? And it doesn't have to be paper thin. You do want it, you know, there to be some thickness to it, but it's not going to be real thick. It's going to be pretty thin. It's going to be probably half an inch or so and stuff that's how how um, then you're gonna want to roll it so okay so I think I'm about done rolling here so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take this out of my bag and this is why this works so well because you know you've got all your stuff just in here in your in your little bag 
and you're just gonna take it out and then lay it flat and then if you have a cookie cutter that is egg shaped great okay use that but if you don't you can draw out a template of an egg and you can just take any piece of paper I I use cardstock here but you don't have to use cardstock if you have you know construction paper or just white printer paper you can use any kind of of um, paper but you just want the design the shape of your egg okay and then I'm just going to lay that out on my on my um, dough and then I'm gonna just take a, uh, a knife and I'm gonna very carefully you know go around that and that's how I'm going to get out my my uh, my eggs my egg shape Okay, so there's one, we're going to make another one very quickly here, but you take your time at home, you know, I, I um, sometimes when I'm doing videos and stuff, I rush a little bit so we can, you know, so I can get, um, so I can show you guys how to do everything, you know, start to finish. But if you're at home and you're doing this at home, you're going to want to take your time and be as neat as you possibly can and stuff with making your projects. And don't feel like anybody is rushing you. So, okay. So now I'm just going to take away the extra dough here. But I'm not going to throw this away, okay? This is something that I can save. If you put this into a Ziploc, you can um, keep this in your refrigerator for up to a week and you can make any kind of design um, that you would like to with this, okay? So you don't just have to do these little Easter eggs. You can do any kind of design, but the Easter egg is what I'm showing you guys today. So now this is a very important step because we're making ornaments here. We're gonna have to hang them up, right? So I'm just gonna take a straw and I'm going to go up kind of towards the top of my, or of my egg and I'm just going to uh, put it in, put my straw in and make a little hole and just kind of turn and then you know all of the dough is is in here and then I've got my I've got my two little eggs that are ready to put in the oven and so I'm gonna put these in the oven we're going to bake them at 250 degrees for uh, two hours and when they come out they look like this okay and so now they're hard they've cooked and these are cooled and so now these are ready to decorate okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is after I wipe off my hands because I've been handling dough I am going to and you can use acrylic paints for these uh, uh, that's what I would recommend or if you have um, you know some of uh, these little uh, paints um, you can use you know whatever you guys have available to you um, watercolor paints <coughs> probably wouldn't be recommended and stuff but any other kinds of paints that you guys have at home um, you know feel free to use those okay so what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to start and I'm going to um, paint my egg I'm gonna paint this egg one solid color and the paint dries really fast on these guys um, it sure does not take long at all and the paint will be dry um, but you know just that's what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna paint I'm gonna paint all of my eggs one solid color And reminder kids and stuff when you're painting at home you always want to lay down some kind of covering on your um, table because we don't want to you know make a mess on mom or grandma's uh, table we want to make sure and have our things neat um, and so you know I always have a protectant 
uh, covering on my um, work surface and uh, you can use uh, you know newspaper or another kind of um, you know if you have printer paper or you know whatever you have available and stuff but I would recommend that when you're doing these painting projects go ahead and lay down something down on your table and stuff and and um, mom and grandma uh, won't you know be upset with you then and stuff if you if you uh, make a little bit of a mess so I am painting the sides of this uh, little egg and I'm going to go ahead later after the front is is dry I'm gonna go ahead later and I'm gonna paint the back okay so I am gonna do another one for you guys And let's see, gotta have a purple one. And I've got this really pretty purple glitter paint. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be beautiful. And actually now I just noticed, I'm just putting this down and maybe that's a little bit light. So you know what, I'm going to just do plain purple first and then I can do that glitter on top of it. Yeah, I think I'll be happier with that. And some ideas for you guys to um, utilize these little ornaments is um, after they are sealed with Mod Podge, um, you can um, you know, hang them out on a tree um, outside um, because they're going to be water sealed. Um, you can do that or if you want to make a little Easter tree inside, you can. You can take a, go out and, and take a branch, um, a small branch and bring that in the house and, and uh, you know, if mom has a, has a pot with some foam or, or whatever and stuff, you know, you can make a little Easter tree inside for your table. Um, but there's a lot of different little things that you can do. You can just hang these around the house and stuff, you know, hang these, um, you know, wherever you would like and stuff. But these, these are just a cute little, little way of, of having a little touch of Easter around the house. So. So did anybody come up with any funny jokes yesterday for for calling anybody and telling them a funny joke? I would love to hear some funny jokes if you if you have one that you can share. Yesterday was, you know, call someone and tell them your funniest joke day. Okay. So I hope you guys all did that yesterday, but that can really be any day, right? Okay. So now I've got my two Easter eggs that I have painted here and I'm going to you know, just wipe up my, my paint here a little bit, wipe up my area because I got a little bit on my covering. Okay, so now comes the fun part. Now we're going to decorate and you can, it, you know, just like I said, this dries really, really super fast and stuff. So this is actually already dry and ready to go. So the paintbrush that I'm gonna pick to do all the designs is a smaller paintbrush, um, but you can really use any size. Uh, whatever whatever you guys have available to you, that's what you you um, you know can use and stuff. So, all right, so here I'm gonna make, I'm just gonna make like a little zigzag on the bottom. And I might have to go over this twice just to make it darker. But I'm going to do a couple little zigzags on this little egg. And then add some other little things in this. So 
So if you are a parent or grandparent at home, I'm sure that you all remember making salt dough uh, things in school or, or maybe in Sunday school even. Um, I remember uh, making salt dough things uh, with uh, Mrs. Banning when we were fourth graders. Um, she had us make some salt dough ornaments at uh, Christmas time. Um, and we just did a variation of it and we had cinnamon included in it. So, but that was really fun. So if you're a kid that uh, grew up, you know, in the 80s and, and 90s and went to school in the 80s and 90s, uh, you maybe remember doing that. So, okay, so I've got my little zigzags here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put some little polka dots here because we always have to have polka dots. But you know, really guys, it's this is any way you want to decorate these is fine. You're just, you're making, you're personalizing this and you're making this your own. And so it's, it's whatever you would like to do and whatever you think looks pretty, that's what you should do. Because that's what art is all about, right? Art is about what you think is beautiful and you um that's what you should do and that's what how that's that's the art that you should create okay so there's my first little um ornament and i'm gonna put that to the side and i'm gonna let that dry and so now i'm gonna start on my little on my little purple one and i have got actually i have got i'm actually gonna just go over the top of this a little bit with this really pretty purple um, sparkle, it's got a little bit of glitter in it. I'm going to go over the top with that. Okay, and then I've got a really pretty um, silver here and I'm going to I'm just going to kind of do some little swirls on here. might go over this a little bit and just make it a little bit darker but I think that is gonna be good so so here are my two little ornaments I made one a purple one with glitter overlay and a swirl on it and then a more traditional looking one um, you know with the zigzags and the polka dots and so what I'm going to do when these are completely dry and they're not, and I and I want to make sure and do the back, okay? So you want to make sure and, and paint your back on these, okay? Because we want to, you know, hang these up. And if we're hanging them in an area and stuff where you can see the front and the back, we, of course, want to have our backs, um, you know, painted too. And so what I'm going to do when I get all done with this is I'm just going to take yarn or a ribbon or you know whatever you guys have have available to you okay and I'm going to um, this is why you know our little holes were so important we're going to feed this yarn through the little hole and we'll just tie a really simple knot up on top And 
and then you'll be able to hang that. Um, but you know, just a reminder, after you get all done with your painting, front and back, you're going to want to do at least one coat of Mod Podge. And maybe you wanna do, if you're hanging it outside, maybe you wanna do two coats of Mod Podge, okay? So, and you can do, you know, use either the commercial Mod Podge or you can do our homemade Mod Podge, which is eight ounces of um, clear, you know, uh, white glue, excuse me, it's white glue, white school glue, to four ounces of water. So eight ounces of glue to four ounces of water and you take that and mix that up and you that you have Mod Podge. But if you've got some of that, I want you to use that, but I want you to seal these to make them a little bit more durable and um, to make them a little bit more waterproof and stuff if we're gonna put them outside, okay? So that is our project for today. I want you to, I uh, wanna thank you all for joining me. Um, and I hope that you enjoyed that uh, simple little project um, and fun little project and stuff that we can do uh, before Easter. Um, just a reminder, you know, you guys can take that, that uh, any leftover dough that you have, you can put that in a Ziploc and, and put that in the fridge and you can keep it for up to a week and you can make any other designs of any other ornaments that you would like to um, make and create, okay? So tomorrow for Art with My Miss Myra, um, <clears throat> we are going to do our Teen Thursday. And so this is a little bit hard, harder project that is devoted for the teens or maybe in a, any adults um, that want to join in. And we're going to be making a, um, doing a, uh, a string art project, okay? And so um, I, I talked about this this last week with our projects, um, you know, our, our supplies list and stuff. Um, if you have um, the availability to get a two by 12 board and have um, someone, you know, we have either someone, if, if you can go out, um, you know, your local lumber yard can do this, or if you have a, a handy husband or a boyfriend or a dad, um, have them cut you a um, square out of that two by 12 board. Okay, it's just a, just a, a square. And then you're going to need nail with um, a nail that has a head on it. And you're going to need stain for your board. You're going to stain your board, okay, before we start going. And then you're going to need your pattern um, for your design. And we're gonna either do a heart or an Easter egg. And then you're gonna need yarn. And I'm gonna show you how to do string art. And string art is something that is really fun um, to do. And it's, it's very quick. There's a lot of steps to do this project. But it's all um, it's all kind of steps in preparation for it. <clears throat> when when we get down to the actual project and do it, you guys are going to be like, "Oh my gosh, that was so quick!" And and it really it was just a lot of steps to you know to get ready for it and stuff. But it's it's going to be a lot of fun to do it. So join me tomorrow for that. Um, and like I said, this is as primarily for you know the the teen kids out there or any adults that want to do it and stuff. But if you have a more advanced um, elementary school age child that would like to do it, you know, they're welcome to join too. So, um, but join me um, tomorrow at 11 a.m. Mountain Time for that. Um, thank you so much for joining me again, and we'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's episode of Art with Miss Myra. And until then, have a great night. Thanks. Bye bye.